Good morning, friends. Welcome to Good Morning Friends Podcast, where we bring the latest news and updates to you, the bride around the world. Good morning, everyone. Welcome. Today is Saturday, July 9th. I am William McMasters. Greetings from Zimbabwe. I am Stephen Tutani. Welcome back, Brother Will and the rest of the troops at the VGR. Good to have you back. How are you feeling after the break, my brother? Oh, I'm feeling awesome, Brother Stephen. Rested, recharged, ready to go. We had a wonderful first week back. You know, I want to say thank you to everyone that remembered all of us here in prayer. We sure appreciate it, and we really felt them. Well, we're grateful to the Lord that you got some well-deserved rest, but we're sure glad that you're back, too. We missed you all last week. (laughs) Yeah, me too. It's good to be back together again. It really is, my friend. Well, we have a big episode ahead, a lot to catch up everybody on, so how about we get started? Let's do it. We're starting off with an update from Ukraine. Brother Matty Honkinen tells us that with what looks like a war that will not end anytime soon, the believers in the country still need us to continue holding them up before the Lord in prayer. There are a few Ukrainian families in Norway that have been waiting for months for their final papers of acceptance for temporary protection. VGR is continuing to help support those in need until they can get established on their own. You know, one great challenge that they face is to learn a new language that is completely different than their native Ukrainian. Those who have their papers in order now are attending Norwegian language lessons. This allows them to receive financial help from the government, open a bank account, and start working once they get a job. It's been a long and exhausting couple of months for our friends, but we're thankful for what the Lord is doing for them and the support that you all continue to provide for our brothers and sisters. The following report is from Brother Paul Yang, a pastor of several churches deep in mainland China. He speaks on how the Lord sustained them with the stored food during the coronavirus pandemic and how the Table app has been a blessing to the Chinese-speaking bride. It is truly amazing how the Lord has members of His bouquet bride around the world, including China. Greetings, brothers and sisters of the voice of God. This is Brother Paul from China. We are happy to know that the voice of God is doing a blog. And we are delighted to hear from you. Things are going well with our church despite the pandemic. Thank our Lord, we have Brother Branham's message to listen to. Our meetings are basically not affected in any way. As usual, we have a meeting once a week on Sunday morning and a prayer meeting on every Wednesday evening. Unfortunately, many brothers and sisters in China could not understand Brother Branham's message due to our language barriers. That is why the table is so important to us. With this wonderful application, we can listen to Brother Branham's message with Chinese subtitles anytime, anywhere. We feel that it is very important to always hear from Brother Branham because God is speaking through him. And we cannot live without God's guidance. So we are here to thank you for the table. May God bless us all of you for everything. May God bless us those who listen to Brother Branham's voice. Indeed, the table is a very powerful tool for the bride. And you know, we just passed the 20th anniversary of when we started a special project to align the audio with the transcribed text. The table has been installed in over 300,000 devices around the world in 63 languages. It is available for Windows, Android, iOS, and Mac OS. That means each device has the full library of English sermons, plus everything we have translated in their language. I know we say this often, but what a day we're living in. Last March, a container loaded with 5,000 Agapo tablets left VGR in Jeffersonville for Congo, Brazzaville. After a couple of months of traveling by truck and by ship, we are excited to announce that the tablets have arrived at the VGR office in Brazzaville. Brother Kina and his team will be soon updating and charging the tablets in preparation for the upcoming distributions. There are two different language combinations on these tablets. 2,800 of them will contain English, French, and Lingala. The other 2,200 tablets will contain English, French, and Kikongo. What a joyous time it is for the brothers and sisters in the Republic of Congo. 
These are the first Agapo tablets to be distributed in this country. And very soon, like no other time in history, they will be able to press play on their tablet and listen to the end time message brought by the end time messenger anytime and anywhere. Praise the Lord. This is such wonderful news, but you know, there's even more to the story. While the tablets were on their way to Congo Brazzaville, there was one piece of the puzzle that was yet to fall in place. The office needed a truck to use for distribution of the tablets. Due to the extreme cost of a new truck, it was decided to possibly rent one, but the Lord was working on a better arrangement. Brother Tonga worked at an immigration office and was owed money by the company. Well, they decided to give him a truck as a payment for what money they owed him. He had no idea what to do with the truck at first, but he said he visited the local VGR office and the still small voice spoke to him and said that this is what the truck was for. He donated the truck to the office just in time so that the tablets with the stored up food can get into the hands of the people. Praise the Lord. How perfect. You know what? It seems like the angel of the Lord was in the neighborhood because the exact same story happened in the country of Gabon at about the same time. Amen. Brother Joseph approved 3,304 Agapo tablets to be produced and shipped for the believers there. These will also be the first tablets to be distributed in this country. The office began looking into renting a truck for the distribution trips as they didn't have one. However, just like so many other times, the Lord was working on both ends. Brother Blaise Kumana recently felt led of the Lord to purchase a truck for the VGR office in Libreville, Gabon. He contacted the VGR and expressed the burden on his heart to do this service for the Lord. This was a direct and timely answer to our prayers. The brother purchased a very nice truck that will be perfect to get the Agapo tablets into the hands of the believers in that country. Praise the Lord. May God richly bless our brother Blaise for his love and support of the work in Gabon. The Lord has proved yet again that he is in control and in charge of getting his word to the predestinated seed. He sure is. Moving from West Africa to the most southern tip of Africa. In episode three of our podcast, we informed you of a power outage that Brother Keith Hearn experienced while given an Agapo presentation in Kimberley, South Africa, and their plans to return and complete the full presentation at the request of the believers. Brother Levi Lettingham, who manages South Africa, recently spoke with Brother Keith concerning this return trip. For anyone who knows Brother Keith, he's not one to leave anything undone, and he never likes to stop if he knows there's believers in need. He's really a true missionary. Even leading up to our annual vacation, Brother Keith worked nonstop on a seven-day distribution trip in Mozambique, which we hope to share the report soon, but instead of starting his VGR vacation with the rest of us, he postponed it to keep his word and return to Kimberly. It certainly wasn't in vain, as Brother Keith called me afterwards in great excitement to share the good news. There were two church groups that came together for the presentation, and the people were under great expectation from the very start. Brother Keith explained to me that as he was going through the slides, the atmosphere felt electrified as the people were rejoicing. The pastors and congregation alike all had their hands in the air. The people were standing and just praising the Lord to see the great work God is doing through the Agapo tablets. When he got to the video part of the presentation, where Brother Joseph said, Now let's see what love will do, the people just erupted, for they knew that only God's love could do such great things for his precious bride. A little Brother Keith humor that gave everyone a little laugh, he told them that the only time they can claim to have smartphones is if the table app is on and they're listening to the message. Otherwise, they are sitting with dumb phones. Brother Keith also expressed to me that he could easily say this was one of the greatest presentations he's ever had. Even now, he's still getting positive feedback. In our first Good Morning Friends episode, we mentioned that the first 1,000 Agapo tablets had just arrived at our VGR office in Honduras. Well, good news continues to come in since the recent distribution trip. Let me read a portion of a letter we received from a pastor of a church that received some of these tablets. He said, We have desired and longed for this moment to receive the blessing of the Agapo Tour that has been traveling through the nations, seeking to deliver the best spiritual tool to the hands of the Bride of the Lord. And not only deliver, but to encourage the seed to listen to the voice of God in our homes and our churches and wherever we are. 
It did not come before or after. It came in the perfect time. It was His grace and mercy with us. We have no way to pay, but we do bring you before the Father in our prayers, and we love you and long to meet you and shake your hands. Truly, you are very precious. Our brother went on to say, It was a special time from the beginning to the end of the tour that we will never forget. It is engraved in our hearts. Thank you, Brother Joseph Branham. We received your greetings and encouragement to play the tapes and listen to the voice of God. We have spiritual food. We have felt your love toward us. And from the deepest of our hearts, we love you and thank you for the vision that God put in your heart. Amen. It means so much to us to receive letters and feedback like this from around the world. That's right, my brother. It's really encouraging to see more and more believers get the opportunity to receive the voice of God's seventh angel messenger into their homes through that Agapo tablet. In November of 1984, Brother Joseph and Brother Billy Paul, along with his sons, Brother Paul and Brother David Branham, traveled to Kenya to visit some of the 11 VGR lending libraries that were in the country at the time. It was during this trip that we filmed Vision for Africa. The church in the village of Malat was the first place they visited after leaving Nairobi. In the video, Brother Joseph spoke about how technology had improved drastically since the days of Aquila and Priscilla. 38 years later, Brother John Kumwardi and Brother Edwin Maturwe from the VGR office in Nairobi were back in Malat. Now the Lord has provided a way to get his stored up food on the tapes to our brothers and sisters around the world within a matter of seconds through the Agapo tablet. They visited this church twice, first to distribute the Agapo tablets and then recently to follow up with the brothers and sisters and update the 400 tablets VGR distributed in September of last year and also take care of any needs that they had regarding the tablets. Since we've been reporting about VGR missionaries on the road doing Agapo tablet follow-up trips, we wanted to take this opportunity to explain a little bit about what exactly those are. Since we started building the very first wave of Agapo tablets back in 2015, there were a lot of unknowns of exactly how well the tablets would hold up in the real world, especially out in the jungles and the bushes. That's right. Thankfully, the tablets have proved to be structurally solid and durable. But in the first batch of tablets that we distributed over four years ago, some of the key components have failed over time. For that reason, the missionary brothers make follow-up trips or set up a way to have the faulty tablets brought in for either repair or replacement. These trips also serve as an opportunity to update believers' tablets with any new software changes and new sermons via the peer-to-peer -peer feature on the Gabo tablet. This enables us to update them even with no internet access. Over in the Philippines, our VGR office manager, Brother Jeremiah, and the team have been on the road this week distributing Agapo tablets. Here's Brother Jeremiah reporting on location. Greetings in the precious name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. We just arrived in Davao City late this afternoon after a long trip from Malaybalay, Bukidnon, where we did our last distribution stop for the northern Mindanao area for the period covering July 4 to 7. However, before that, we already covered during this report week all the message churches in the Davao de Oro and Davao Oriental provinces for the first two days of July. So for the week July 1 to 7, we have distributed a total of 455 tablets to 26 churches. Hence, to date, for our Mindanao distribution, we have already given out a total of 1,449 tablets to 97 message churches since we arrived in Mindanao last June 24. Tomorrow, we will be on our distribution trips again covering the provinces of Davao Occidental, South Cotabato, North Cotabato, Sarangani, and Sultan Kudrat. If you would note, we did not have a distribution last July 3, which is Sunday, because we had to travel all the way from San Francisco, Agusan del Sur, to Cagayan de Oro City, which is about uh, 480 kilometers, passing through the Davao City, where we had to load up new stacks of tablets for the northern Mindanao distribution. God bless you. And finally... Creations projects have been a major blessing to young children, 
parents, Sunday school teachers, or anyone that has a burden to keep their kids in the Word, especially now that the enemy has so many things that can distract their young minds. All that effort is reflected in many sweet testimonies that we receive of how kids put these lessons to use in their life. We received this email from a sister that regularly holds creation classes in the West Africa city of Liberville, Gabon. In her email, she stated, We have a little testimony to share with you. Before the lesson, there was a child who was coughing a lot, so I asked her to take a glass of water. She started coughing very hard, and I immediately thought that it was Satan who wanted to take advantage of the situation. Only another five-year-old child said, I will pray for her. So I asked everyone to close their eyes and asked her to pray out loud. She prayed this, Lord Jesus, heal my sister, because she came to work on the activities like us, and Satan is disrupting her. In the name of Jesus, heal my sister. Let her leave here in good health. Immediately, the cough stopped bothering the young sister, and she was able to follow and participate in the classes. Together we gave thanks to God. The children enjoyed the course and the crafts very much. That was truly the hand of the Lord. It's so wonderful to see that they call on the Lord and put their faith in action, young as they are. Amen. May God bless the creation staff and all the fifth gospels and everyone who is using these tools to keep the word before the children. That eternal investment certainly pays off. Amen. It really does. Well, that wraps up today's episode. We will continue to keep the believers in Ukraine in prayer. Be sure to be looking for updates during the week on Bram.org, WhatsApp, and our Lifeline app. And also remember, the new tape quiz this month, we'll be listening to Communion and Christ is a Mystery of God Revealed. That's a tape load right there. Amen. Well, thank you for joining us. We look forward to seeing you next week. Until then, God bless you and shalom. Shalom. Shalom.